Hi, I'm Ben Smetting, owner of Smetting Performance. I wanted to show you our Smetting 383. This is our extreme motor. And as you can see, we have roller rockers. We also have a hydraulic roller cam. Being hydraulic, you never have to adjust the valves. A lot less friction with the roller valve gear. But what I really wanted to show you was our block. And our block, we have specifically made for us. We talked to the engineers, we told them what we want, what our goal is, and we came up with a block that's a lot thicker than the standard production block. When you have a nice thick block, it's very rigid. There's no flex, no movement, and then also with the crankshaft being balanced, that spins real smooth, we're able to have very tight clearances. With a 500 horse motor, we're able to run about one and a half thou clearance, where a regular production 350 that's modified, you need to run about two and a half, even three thou clearance. That throws a lot of oil around. Also, with the thicker block, we have thicker cylinder walls, so the walls don't flex. So when your piston is, is going up and down the walls, you can run a nice true cylinder that's nice and round and straight, and you can run very tight clearances. Again, that prevents any oil from trying to go up the side of the piston past the rings. The benefit is, is you get to run lightweight oil rings, which reduces a lot of friction. Altogether, those little things add up to about 30 horsepower. And we call that free horsepower because your engine is smoother, more efficient, and you get the horsepower. But another thing that's very nice about it is with the thick cylinder walls, the heat dissipates nice and even. So our engine at 500 horsepower makes less heat than a 350 at 400 horsepower will make. You'll be able to drive it in traffic with a regular radiator and just not worry about it. Engine should last you a long time. The next step is after we assemble this motor, it goes on the dyno. A lot of people don't understand the dyno and there's a lot of different ways people dyno. Some people dyno it where they just put it on, rev it up, measure the horsepower and off it comes. We actually go through a two hour process where we break it in. We bring it up to temperature over 15 minutes and we start applying a load to it. A load is similar to you driving down the road with your foot lightly on the brakes. And then we will go up and down in RPM and we will go up and down in load, adding friction against the motor. This seats the rings in, it seats the bearing, it gets the motor where it wants to be. And we'll go more and more and more. And then after about an hour, we'll start giving it full power and then applying load to it. We back it off, full power again, apply load to it and it, it simulates you either racing or going up a hill with a trailer, and that sets the motor up the way it wants to be set up. After the motor is dynoed, and we know the fuel curve is set correct, we know the timing is correct, we know that the operating temperature is correct, oil pressure is correct, we drain the break-in fluid, we also do a post inspection where we check for any kind of oil leaks, the motor is all set to go. It's 80% broken in. It's like the 80-20 rule. You will get the actual dyno sheet from the motor. It's packaged and then shipped to you. For more information, look us up on the website at smettingperformance.com.